Davis and A.J. Pruszynski. I'm in Los Angeles. A.J. in Orlando. Glad you're with us tonight. Hope you're having a great week. You know, the Cubs in the first season, A.J., under David Ross, with the way they're playing, you really can't go wrong taking a pick somebody to talk about. But why don't we go with one of the most exciting players in baseball and Javier Baez. On a team loaded with all-stars in their lineup, Brian Rizzo, this is the shining star for me. The guy you have to watch, Mr. Electricity, Javier Baez. In the field, batting, he swings so hard, he falls down. When he tags guys, he's pointing at the catcher for throwing him out. This is the guy you have to watch, and he is the guy that makes the Chicago Cubs absolutely go. And he's the guy, AJ, that people, baseball fans around the country know about. There's a guy in Kansas City who is one of the best hitters in baseball that not enough people talk about. Whit Merrifield has led the majors in hits each of the last two seasons. Shh, shh, Joe, let's not talk about him. Let's not let the secret out. <laughs> the Royals know about him, the Royals fans. But, hey, this guy can hit. He plays all over the field. He plays the outfield. He plays the infield. He can steal bases. He hits leadoffs. And if the Royals are going to get where they want to go, win games, he has to get on for Soler and Perez to drive him in. All right, AJ, and you can pick the winners of six MLB games on the Fox Bet Super 6 app. You could win up to 10,000. Get ready for game four. And here is the Cubs batting order with Chris Bryant to lead things off. And then Anthony Rizzo at first base hitting second. Javier Baez, the shortstop, hits third. Then Schwarber, Contreras, and Hayward. Caratini does the dh -ing. Nico Horner, the rookie, at second. And Ian Happ is in center field. The Royals get their opening day starter from a year ago back. 25-year-old Brad Keller, who tested positive for COVID in early July, and then he was ready to go. He was cleared, but Kansas City wanted to make sure he was fully built up and really ready to be an impactful starter again before they cut him loose. Well, welcome back, Mr. Keller. 11 days he missed, Joe, with the COVID infection, and they are happy to have him back. He is a sinker baller. He is a slider guy. He attacks hitters. He works fast. One thing in common, these Royals pitchers, they all work fast. They try to get quick contact, and he's a guy there with the Royals. Even in the low seasons lately, they've played good defense, but not the case this year. Two more errors last night, and now 16 this season. That's the most in the American League. Bronco and O'Hearn at the corners. Mondesi and the rookie Lopez up the middle, and Sal Perez. Great to have Sal Perez back active again after missing last season with Tommy John surgery. That's a strike on Chris Bryant, and off we go. Lead it off and started right tonight. Jorge Soler, the reigning home run champ in the American League, bat second, and it's Perez and O'Hearn. And Alberto Mondesi out of the five spot with Gordon in left, Franco at third, Lopez and Heath. Nick Heath making his first career Major League start. Tyler Chatwood back in the rotation this year after spending much of last season in the bullpen. And boy, has he been good. Just one run in 12 and two-thirds so far this year. He's been incredible for the Cubs. And David Ross, we talked to him today, said, hey, he came in staking a claim to a rotation spot, and he's done it. The biggest thing for Tyler Chatwood, he does fastball, curve, changeup, but he's included. He's in built Schwarber, Happ, and Hayward, who's won five gold gloves in his career. On the infield, it's Brian at third and Baez at short. The rookie, Nico Horner, is at second. Anthony Rizzo, the first baseman, and Wilson Contreras does the catching for Chatwood. One gone for the former Cub, Jorge Soler.